Hey y'all, it's nighttime and I have been micro and macro dosing the tea recipe and I feel like it's time to go deeper and sort of hand it all over to the mushroom and let them handle it. So what I'm doing tonight is I'm not necessarily micro, maybe halfway between micro and macro dosing, full muscamol. It's not the milk version. So you can go watch that to get that recipe. I won't like teach that again here. And then here's how I store it. So I take the bottle that it was made in and I get freezer Ziploc bags and I just pour some in each one. And then I put them all in a large bag and I put them in a deep freeze that I have to get it frozen really, really hard. And then the reason why I do this is because when I want to use it, this for me is, I would say the beginning of a high dose. And you know, of course that's gonna depend on the strength and converted it. So it's pretty strong. And I made about 10 maybe of these out of that. And this is fully converted. So what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm going, I'm not gonna take this whole thing. I don't have anyone to watch me or to help me tonight. So that's why I do it like this. Let me show you. So I'm going to just break it up. So now I've got like as much of that I, as I want to use in here. I can break that up and just put as many as I want in there. One. I'm just going by feel. Two. That's enough. And then I'll just put the rest of this back in the freezer. And there they are. Chamomile. Now I'm gonna drink that. I'm gonna be good to go. So that's it. And then I just drink it. And that way I've always got some on hand in case I have like an emergency. I mean, I was on benzodiazepines for 10 years and this is an unbelievably superior substitute for that. So if I just get random anxiety or a panic attack or whatever, and I'm not in the mood to get like take it at seven, the tea, you know, and do some work and get work done around the house. Like I'm not okay. And I just freaking need to sleep. Then I just grab this out of the freezer, you know, and I can judge about how much I need and then put it in my tea or whatever. And I'm good to go. So I just wanted to share that with you that that's, I always have some around. And then when I start to run out, I make another batch, but that'll last me, my God, probably six months or more. Like that's a lot for one recipe unless I'm gonna do a couple of really high doses or help someone else out, you know, with a really high dose. But everything is at amanitadreamer.net if you're already here, and please look around. If you wanna make your own, then I have vetted vendors at amanitadreamer.net so that you know that you can trust where you're buying them from. And then to support all that free education, this video, then please go to mushroomvoice.com and try to pick something out of the store maybe that you can purchase and every bit of it goes to me to pay the bills, to keep the lights on for you. I love you, beautiful people. Bye.